What's going on everyone? I'm Crispy Wings. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a walkthrough of my kayak and see how I have it set up for kayak fishing. Let's get into it. guys so this is my Hobie Outback and how I have it set up so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start at the very front of the kayak and work my way to the back so right at the front here I've installed the Burley Pro Bumper Bro try to say that five times fast this just protects the front of the kayak from when I'm launching and uh, coming up to the boat ramp I used to use Gorilla Tape at the front just to protect it, but this works so much better. It's just glued on. I usually keep my net at the front just for easy access and out of the way. But right at the front of the kayak, the Outback comes with a hatch. So inside it, I purchased the, the bucket and I just keep little knickknacks inside of it, like toilet paper, brag mat, the FG Whiz, some leader, and just other little bits and pieces that help get me through the day. Underneath it, this is where I keep my batteries. So I've got one battery to power up the fish finder, and I have another battery there just as a backup. So this, this battery here will charge my GoPro batteries, my phone. I don't always carry it with me. It's just, just there for those days where I'm on the water for a very long, long time. So yeah. That's all I really keep inside of here guys, nothing too special, just two batteries. Uh, the smaller battery is just the 7 amp hour one, and the larger battery is the 17 amp hour one. The 17 amp hour one does the, bat uh, does the fish finder. Got some bloody kookaburras laughing at me while I'm trying to do this setup video. Alright guys, so right here, these are the reason why Hobie are uh, just so well known and such a great fishing kayak. This is the Mirage Drive. I own the 180 kick up fins. And uh, these are just a massive game changer. So if you're fishing in the oyster racks, being able to just uh, throw it in reverse and get yourself out of there when you're onto a fish or you just got yourself into a bad spot, these just help out so much. These actually just click in the middle here so you can actually pull them out. I actually have them leashed on. So then if I flip it, I'm not gonna lose these because these are quite expensive. So if I wanna throw it into reverse, all I gotta do is just pull on one of these and they spin around. If I want to get it back into forwards, I just pull the other one. And these are kick-up fins, so if I hit a log, they just kick back up. And if I keep paddling, they just drop down in place. Right, so they're pretty easy, guys, just to put into the hole. All you got to do is just push it down, click it in, and done. Now it's very easy. All right, so the great thing about the Hobie Outback is all the storage that you have. So they've come up with this new design with all these little cut-ins and hate rails and track mounts just to help me out whatever you want so I can have my fish finder I can have a fishing rod holder up here if I wanted to as well I actually keep my camera mount uh, up here as well so there's just so much you can do if I want to put my camera on the other side all I got to do is just unscrew this guys and take it out and then I can move it over to here and slide it into this track if I wanted to it's just been a massive game changer for me guys just being able to to move anything i want to either side of the kayak i like to change up my camera angles every now and then so being able just to, to move all my little attachments and just put them anywhere else in the kayak it's so helpful so great i keep my tackle box up up the front here so whatever lure i'm using throughout the day i'll just keep it up mount it up in here guys and i can lock it off like that so it won't fall out won't go anywhere i also like to keep my sunscreen up the front here with me i i get burnt very very easily so if i don't have the sunscreen where i can see it i'll forget and i'll just burn turn into a lobster it comes with these little these holes here so i just throw my fish fine uh, my fish grips in there and it also has this little retractable 
rope here guys goes back in as well so i just keep my scent on there it's not going to go anywhere and then just in front of the fish finder there's another little bit of a hole here as well so i keep my pliers in there i also keep the gloves there as well so i also have up the front here guys these little pockets so i'll keep lures or soft plastics just anything like that in there they're not going to fall out they're not going to go anywhere so that's very helpful as well all right just on the side of the kayak guys this is where i store the the paddle always make sure i have this out on the water with me just in case something happens with my drive i still want to be able to get back to shore all right this is the fish finder that i use guys it's the lawrence elite fs7 it's been a massive massive upgrade for me from the hook 2 that i used to own the side the side scan on it guys is just absolutely unreal i can't believe it there's so many things i still haven't learned about it so i'm not going to go too far into it but I, I will say a massive thank you to james and the boys at hunter water sports they highly recommended this fish finder and they gave me some absolutely insane customer service guys so uh big thank you to those guys there really really happy with this fish finder and uh, most of the things that you find on this kayak guys i've actually purchased through them and i have most of it linked in the description below so check that out guys all right so in the center of the kayak guys this is where i store most of my gopro stuff i keep my phone stored up in here it's nice and dry here i keep a power bank to recharge my batteries and all my gopro stuff lives in this bag here as well so if you remember at the start of the video guys the uh spare battery that, that i had this is actually hooked up to these usb points here so i can just connect my uh, phone charger or gopro charger to it and just charge up my batteries so i don't really keep too much in there it's nice and dry in there i'll throw in some lures and scent and stuff like that some jig heads if if i need to but most of the stuff i usually keep in my esky so this is the seat that comes with the hobie outback i call it the vantage seat it's extremely comfortable it's height adjustable has lumbar support i've spent a 12-hour fishing session sitting in this seat and my butt and back did not get sore so it's height adjustable by just pulling on these just here lowering it down like that has the lumbar support at the back and i actually have this hobie bag mounted on the back here and i'll keep some bushmans in there some more sunscreen uh, my wallet my keys are in there got some leader and a, a face mask because you know of coronavirus and all that stuff going on at the moment all right so as we make our way to the back of the kayak guys a little upgrade that i've done to this kayak was add on this hobie hay trail i use this mainly just to help to, uh, support myself as i'm sitting and standing getting out of the kayak and stuff like that i've also mounted a fishing rod holder here so when i'm sitting in the seat it's actually right next to me easy grab and uh, just out of the way i don't like to have the fishing rods in front of me too much and when i'm dealing with a fish i like to have the fishing rod sitting behind me just next to me out of the way the hobie outback comes with dual steering so it has steering on both sides just to make it so much easier when i'm out there fishing so when i drop the rudder i can actually control what way i'm steering by just turning this here so it actually turns the other side as well so that's been extremely helpful having that dual steering i didn't think it would help me too much but I actually find myself using both sides it's uh it's been really really good at the back here this is where i keep my measuring stick it just slides in underneath works really well for me actually like that when i'm going on those big fishing trips i will usually chuck this bag here that has all my soft plastics in it um, it's not always here i like to keep my kayak as light as i possibly can uh, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you guys just where I store all my lures if I need to. This is where I store my esky. So I've actually screwed some rod holders onto the side of the esky and I've kept it on my left hand side because I cast right handed. I wanted to keep the right hand side of my kayak free. So I can store about three fishing rods back here. And uh, yeah, I find that very helpful. I actually have the esky tied down with these tie downs here. Just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere in case i flip it or something like that inside the esky i normally just keep whatever i need jig heads some other tackle boxes and uh 
food and drink as well in there. Always make sure I have plenty of water. And the reason why I choose an esky over like a, a crate or something like that is if I want to keep the fish and take it home, I can chuck it in here. It'll be kept cold and fresh. So at the back of the kayak, this is where I store my wheels. Actually tied off with a bit of bungee here, so they're not going anywhere. And the wheels are absolutely must have when you're uh, when you're taking your, your kayak from the car to the boat ramp. At the back, the outback comes with this hate trail just to help with lifting and uh, also comes with this little bit of a protection for your rudder underneath so when I'm lifting the kayak under the back of the car this just helps protect my rudder just here guys so this is the GoPro mount that I use so I film off two GoPro 7s and I'm just using the Railblazer boom arm so I have this really easy attachment here I can just pull this out and I've got a few points around the kayak where I can just throw it back in and get a few more angles for you guys all the other times i'll just have my second gopro mounted to my chest and i use that one for the audio so i store the kayak on a little bit of a trolley i found it on facebook marketplace i put some wheels on it and uh, some wood underneath just for some storage to keep all my fishing gear underneath there and underneath i just have some uh, pool noodles on some conduit there just to help protect the hole a little bit more all right guys so that is my kayak setup I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see some future videos. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.